Hi guys, welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. And in this video, we are going to see wireless router configuration lab. And this lab, guys, we are going to do in Cisco Packet Tracer. So for that, I've already opened Cisco Packet Tracer. And what I'll do is I'll quickly take uh, a router. So let's say I'll take this router and I'll also uh, take a switch. So I'm trying to just build first of all a router and switch and then we'll take a wireless router as well. So I'm just taking now a, a switch. Let's say I've taken a 2960 switch and uh, here uh, next to this, you can see here that wireless devices. So from there, I'll select a wireless router. So I'm just selecting this wireless router WRT300N I've selected. And uh, also I'll take a few uh, PCs because uh, we need to do the end-to-end -end connectivity test. So at that time we will need these PCs. So I've taken this uh, uh, the, this many devices. Now I'll just quickly connect these devices. Let's say I'm connecting my router to the switch and then switch to the uh, PC0 and uh, switch to PC1. And uh, after that, I'll connect uh, that uh, switch to the wireless router as well. So I'll connect to the wireless router as well over here. So, so, so this is what the basic connectivity uh, we have made now on this particular lab. So what I'm going to do now is uh, let's let's decide first of all which all IP addresses we are going to give. So what I'll do is on the LAN interface of the router that is on gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 will give 192.168.1.1 slash 24. So this will be the LAN segment for the router. Um, for the wireless router, this particular segment 192.168, let's say 1.2. Uh, slash 24 now this is this this is going to be interesting this will be the internet or uh, we can say the the van segment uh, for the uh or the, or the or the van and ip address for the wireless router so this is a very important point to be noted that that that, that this is the uh, van uh, part or the internet ip uh, for uh, the wireless router uh, again, we have to give some IP addresses to the PCs also. So I'll give it like 192.168. Uh, uh, let's say 1.50 will give. Yeah. And here I'll give like 192.168 1.51. So these are the two IP addresses we have given to the, uh, to the PCs. Now I'll have to give some, some LAN segment. So, uh, let's say for this, I'll give the LAN segment or the network segment for this wireless uh, router also. So what I give is uh, this particular segment, 192, 168, uh, let's say 2.0 uh, slash 24. So I'll give this particular uh, LAN segment for this wireless routers so whatever uh, pcs or laptops or servers which connect to this wireless router will will have those we'll, we'll get the ip address from that lan segment now what i'm going to do is i'll just quickly configure the the lan interface that is gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 for the uh, for the router so i'll just go into configuration mode for the router interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 and I'll give uh, let's say a description uh, let's say LAN and um, I'll just make it as no shut that is making it admin up and I'll give the IP address 192.168.1.1 and the subnet marks of slash 24 that is 255.255.0 so this is this is what we have uh, we are done with the uh, router configuration and i'll just uh, save the configuration now i will configure the ip addresses for the uh, pcs as well so i'll go into this desktop option and here you have this ip configuration uh, option over here so i'll go into that and give the ip addresses so it's 1.50 and subnet marks is slash 24 that that's great the default gateway will be the lan interface of the uh, router so it is going to be 192.168.1.1. So this this particular interface will be the LAN uh, will be the default gateway for the for the PC zero. So this is a point to be noted. 
uh, let's verify IP config. If I go and if I let me maximize a bit and you can see that, you know, the IP addresses which we have configured is correctly. Let's go on to PC1 and uh, configure the IP address for PC1 as well. 192.168.1.51 uh, and the subnet mark slash 24 and the default gateway also we need to configure that is 192.168.1.1. So we are done with this configuration and uh, now what we are going to do is just verify here as well because I have this habit of verifying uh, the, the IP addresses so I just verify it. So so I'm okay with both of the uh, IP addresses configured on the PCs and now what we are going to do is this is this is basically our, our router wireless router now uh, we are going to try to uh, configure this wireless router by using some some laptop so i'll take uh, a laptop let's say so i'll just choose a laptop from here from this end devices i choose a laptop over here and uh, you can see guys this this is this is the laptop and uh, in the physical uh, tab you will get an option and you get a lot of modules over here. So I need a wireless module. Since I need to connect the laptop wirelessly, so I need a wireless module. So here you can see here, currently it is an uh, it is an RJ45 connectivity you can see that is wired module, but I need a wireless module. So what I need to do is, I, I, I need to first of all, you know, just need a one thing to do is to off this particular laptop and remove this LAN or wired module and put this wireless module, the deep wireless module in the laptop and uh, then I have to on it. Now once I on it, you can see that it is getting connected wirelessly. So, so, you know, this is, this is an interesting stuff because you know, you can see this wireless connection on this lab. So, so this is the beauty of this, of this, of this particular, uh, a Cisco packet tracer. So I'll just go and check what IP address I am gaining from this particular, uh, for this particular connectivity. So currently it is an, uh, you know, a PIPA IP. So it is like 169. So I just wait for some time. I know that I'll get some IP address from the wireless router, some default IP address from the wireless router. So I have to wait for, uh, let's say for some time. So let's wait for some time to get that IP address. It will take some time. So still uh, now you can see that yeah, I've got this IP address of 192.168.0.100 for this laptop and uh, you can also see that you know this the default gateway also that is 192.168.0.1 so this is the IP address of the wireless router 192.168.0.1 so this is a point to be noted. So what I'll do is uh, I'll just copy this IP address and uh, I'll show you one thing. Just a minute. I just need to note it down over here. First of all, I just note it down that this is the default. So by default, the IP address which I'm getting for this particular network or uh, for this network segment is uh, 192.168.0.1 so but i actually don't need that i need some uh, some some other ip address which is 192.168.2.1 which we'll configure later on and um, so let's what i'll do is first of all i'll go on to my laptop and uh, just configure the uh, uh, configure that particular uh, wireless router so for that i'll go into this uh, web browser and i'll just paste that 192.168.0.1 it is asking for the username so the username is uh, by default the username is admin and the password is also admin i'll uh, admin so i'll just uh, press ok over here you can see over here this is the basic interface under setup and you have various tabs, wireless security, access restrictions, and and many 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 more uh, tabs in this particular uh, device that is WRT 300N. Now, what I'm going to do is under this internet setup, which is the uh, you know I told you that this is the 
this is the van end ip so i need to give it as 192 1.2 slash 24 so i have to configure this ip address and give the default gateway as 192 1.1 which is the lan interface of the router so under this internet uh, setup i'll select uh, this internet connection type as static ip so this is very important to remember that you have to keep it as a static IP and then I'll give the IP address let's say 192 and uh, 168 168.1.2 and the subnet marks uh, it's coming by default as plus 24 that that's good default gateway the van in the LAN interface of the router 162 sorry 192 1.2 one so guys this is what configuration we need to do for the internet ip that is the wan ip and i'll save the setting so here at the bottom you have the options of save the setting so 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 once the settings get saved you will get a message here here is the message our settings are uh, are successful and then we just need to press continue now the second part is to give the uh, network setup over here and we need to give the uh, network IPs. So here the network IP by default I'm getting is 192.168.0.1 but I as I told you that I need it as 192.168.2.0 so I'll just change it over here uh, 192 192.168.2.0 slash 24 uh, and you can see over here, this IP address is 192.168.0.1. So once I change this, I'm going to lose the connectivity for this particular router from my, from my, from my deck, from my laptop. Okay. So, so this is a point uh, you need to remember. So just change it 192.168.2.1. I'll give the default ma subnet marks because that is, that is fine. That is slash 24. And the IP addresses which I need the host to take it from, uh, from this LAN pool is 192.168.0.100. So, so, so you can change it. Uh, no problem. But whatever the uh, host machines will get IP address from that particular range. So I'll, I'll just save the settings. Now, once I do it, I'll lose the connection. Yeah, here it is. So I've lost the connection to the uh, 192.168.0.1 because we changed that IP address. Now, now what I need to do, I need to reconnect with the new IP address. Here it is. And I'll just show that, you know, we'll get an IP address. So let's let's first check whether whether our router is getting our uh, laptop is getting the new IP address from that wireless router or not. So you can see over here that um, it is it is still not getting the new IP new IP address. It is the it is still the old one. So let's wait for some time. Also, you can try by just you know powering off the laptop and just powering on back the laptop so it can also help you uh, most of the time so but for me it is it is working right now that i'm getting it like 192 2.100 so this is the ip address for uh, for my laptop so i'll just note it down 192 168 1.100 it should be 2.100 so 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 this is uh, this is uh, this is the IP address where what I'm getting for my laptop, and uh, the the default gateway what I'm getting is 192.168.2.1. So I'll go into this particular IP address. So I'll just remove this one default one now. Now for R the LAN segment is 192.168.2.0. So so what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, open the laptop. And from my laptop, I'm going to go into this web browser and paste this 192.168.2.1 uh, username admin password is also by default admin. So I'll just click OK. And then you can see all the configurations which we have done here on this particular router. So this is what uh, th th this is how we can do the this this particular uh, router's configuration wireless router configuration now 
there's some time to test so we will ping pc0 let's say so i'll give it ping 192.168.1.50 so i'll ping that particular ip address of pc0 from my laptop so you can see that few timeouts will come and now you can see that i'm able to uh, successfully ping also i'll try to ping um, let's say pc1 as well so i'll just give this command as one I'll just change these ip address to 51 and uh, maybe rto here also i'll get an rto yes and then you can see i am a successfully able to ping pc1 as well from my laptop so guys this is what i wanted to show you in this particular uh, video and also right guys i have my blog network engineer stuff dot blogspot.com I'll, I'll give the link of this particular article or this particular post in the description of this video and if you need this lab you can just mail me on this particular mail address that is network engineer stuff at the gmail.com i'll provide you with the lab as well so we have done this stuff in the next video uh, we'll do more stuff related to this particular blog but i've mentioned all the things whatever we have done in this particular video you know giving the ip address from the routers to, to all the snapshots whatever ip addresses we have given and and and, and all this stuff whatever we have done and again the test and everything i have given in this particular blog so you can check out this uh this blog as well in the next video what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the ssid and the admin password for the uh, for the wireless router and also i'm going to introduce one more pc in the in the lan segment for that wireless router that is pc2 and then we'll check that how we can you know connect that pc2 and then get our connectivity for a pc as well so this is what I want to show you in this video. I hope you like this video. This video is useful for you. Also do check my blog. I am ending this video. But before ending this video, I'll request you to please subscribe my channel. And, and also I'll request you guys to hit the like button and share this video. Uh, I'll end this video. Till then bye. Thanks. And take care. Thank you.